Hi, my name is John Hartman from Durango Silver Company and today I'm going to teach you how to use wire solder to solder. Um, so, first of all, <clears throat> I have two types of solder here that I use. One solder is for soldering bezels and it's a harder solder and then you use a softer solder after you when you're ready to solder a bezel onto a sheet. Now if you're soldering um, uh, Oh, heavy uh, 24 gauge to 24 gauge, you can use hard solder all the time. The problem with bezels is that, that when you go to solder a bezel onto a sheet, the tendency is for the uh, solder to run out of the bezel onto the sheet, and then you've got a gap in your bezel, and that's no good. So, you use hard solder uh, for, for um, soldering the bezels. And um, if you haven't already, get a catalog from Rio Grande. The phone number is 1-800-545-6566. Uh, you use 75% uh, solder for your bezels. That is uh, number 101-711. And you use 65% silver solder for your uh, sheet, uh, all other soldering and that's soft solder, and that is the number 101707. Okay, so here we got, uh, I use uh, 26 gauge bezel wire minimum, and um, this is 1 8 inch bezel, and I'm gonna put a bezel around a stone uh, like this. Get it around the stone here, and then when you push it together here, it'll inherently mark itself, but I use my fingernail right there just to make sure. And let me see, get it again. I clicked it on the table. And I like these shears. I'll give you the number of them in just a second. Okay. So I put the pet bezel back together and that tells me where straight is. Okay, this, these shears cut so great. They're, they're the best shears for, for doing this. Now you could go ahead and you can use a little square file just to get that just a little bit better, but you won't have to, you won't have to file too much, not using those shears, okay? And those shears are uh, number 114-227 at Rio Grande. Okay, so next I do, um, I put my bezel together here and I get it just straight, I go past, and then I go over the top here. And often what I do here after I cut it also is I'll flatten it with square nose pliers. Flatten it real nice and flat. And then I put it together here, go past, and then let it spring back together. Okay, and then I make sure that my bezel is just real even using my square nose pliers. Okay, now, I used to stand my bezels up, but now I've changed. I use um, Mighty Flux from Rio Grande, the yellow stuff, number 504-076, and I put it on with the brush here, a good amount, okay, grab my torch, grabbing the 75 solder, and incidentally, this is 22 gauge, so this is thin wire solder, thin. Okay, and now, now what I do is I just be real careful with the torch and I watch myself and, and I watch my bezel and when it's just turning a straw color, I put my solder right there. Don't be afraid of it. Okay, and there it's done. Okay, after the bezel's cooled, I put it back over the stone and then I take my square pliers and I go around the stone, make sure the bezel fits the stone real well. A uh, good practice would be also to, once again, squeeze your solder joint, okay? And get it real close like this, okay? Then take your square 
needle file and file that seam. Okay, let's file it pretty nice. Okay, and then I like using Rio Grande Stop Flow. Okay, and it is number 504-028. It's kind of expensive. This jar is like 25 bucks, but it lasts a long time if you'll just keep the lid closed. Okay, and then I put a little bit of this on my seam here. Okay, and then I'm going to carefully take it off my stone. And I put a little on, my, on, on the back side of my seam too. That's extra protection, okay? So your, so your bezel doesn't, doesn't uh, the solder don't come out of your bezel. No way, no how. Okay, so next I have my silver sheet. I'm going to solder that to, uh, this is about an inch long. So I'm using a 26 gauge here. And you want to make sure your uh, sheet is clean. So I take steel wool, and I actually I make several pieces at a time, and I put steel wool on the taper shaft of my buffing machine, and I just go zzz, 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 to solder them, to uh, clean them. Okay, so then I'm going to take my bezel, real careful so you don't make sure it's you got the right size here. Real careful so you don't uh, don't. Uh, bend it out of shape. So one thing is make sure your bezel is down all the way it's flat, okay? And and mine is mine is flat. And then and then add some you can actually take your bezel up put put some flux on here first. Put your bezel on the flux. I like having a little bit of extra sheet so I can run my torch around there to heat the sheet up, okay? I don't want to heat the bezel up first. You must understand that the bezel is finer than the silver. It's smaller, it's thinner, it's, it's finer than the silver. So you generally want to um, heat your sheet up first, okay? And actually, you want to heat your board, your, your soldering board up, okay? And you want a fairly soft soldering board. And in one of my other videos, I'll, show, I'll tell you what soldering board, uh, but they, uh, uh, Rio Grande has they're called soldering boards and all their soldering boards are good so okay so uh, so now what I do is I go around and I heat this thing up uh, slowly carefully and if you've got several here they automatically get heated up but uh, from doing the one pr prior to it but you'll see it turning you'll see the flux uh, dry up and then turn it colors and you'll not you'll you'll be able to see the bottom sheet and the beauty of having stay away from that seam, okay? Because it will it will unsolder. Um, but um, again, this is this is your soft solder here, so it's so it's softer than the other. The beauty of having a little extra sheet is you can go like this and see when you see okay see the see the sheet is is hot enough. You don't need too much solder, um, and and solder follows heat, okay? So uh, if so you stay on the outside of your of your bezel, and it'll pull it'll pull the solder towards towards the outside edge, and then when you get done, heat up the inside just a little bit, and it'll pull it all the way through. Okay, and there you go. Okay, so the next step here would be to put this in pickle, and uh, that'll clean it up. It'll turn white when it turns white. You're uh, you're basically done, uh, uh, ready to ready to go forward. Okay, do not quench your silver too soon after you heat it up. Not, don't quench it when it's red hot. It'll get brittle and crack. Okay, um, so use the same shears to cut your bezel out. Okay, so th these shears are just, th these are the only bent shears you really need to have. Okay, so that's how to solder with wire solder. Now, it's the same by soldering feathers on a piece, soldering rope together, whatever you do. Um, it, uh, when you're soldering uh, twisted wire or beads or something to put around a bezel or, or a design, uh, use your choice. Um, if you can use a harder solder, go ahead and do so. Um, but, you know, when you solder it to the table or anything to a table, use your soft solder because it just makes it just easy. 
and um, and then always uh, make sure all your parts are flat and they touch the they touch the sheet where you want solder to solder. You make sure your metal touches metal to metal, and uh, and you won't have any problem. Uh, solder, I, I've used uh, soft solder uh, or wire solder most of my life, and I, I I I find it terribly hard to use chip solder. So I've been a silver and goldsmith for most all my life, and I'm 67 years old now. And I like teaching you. I'll be happy to tell, tell you guys, teach you guys anything I know. It don't hurt me a bit. And Dylan and Natarika love me to do this. So if you have any suggestions, let us know. Let us know, and we'll try to get the video done for you. And uh, thank you for watching this video and uh, patronizing Durango Silver Company. Uh, once again, this is John Hartman, and uh, thanks for watching.